Lighting the Lamp Within is a story of my personal journey of spiritual awakening and how it has transformed my life. Have you ever wondered where the crossing point between a life journey and a spiritual journey lies? What are the signposts on the spiritual path? I know when I'm making progress in my life. I see the children grow up settle down, progress in my career and so on. But how do I know if I am making progress in my spiritual journey? Honestly, for many years in my life, these questions did not bother me at all. I just did not have the time to reflect on these matters. Living my life has been so busy and challenging. Where was the time for anything deeper? Many feel that a spiritual journey is about following religious rituals. Others believe that a spiritual journey is essentially the time scheduled for prayer. And yet there are others who understand the spiritual concepts intellectually from many books that are out there. It was only after my immersion in Reiki that I experienced a subtle shift in my perceptions, a subtle shift in my thoughts and emotions. Together, they shifted my consciousness. I was moved. I call this my awakening. I now understand in an experiential way that all of us as ordinary people can experience this deeper truth. And this is the learning that I would like to pass on to you to help you connect to your inner self and illuminate your path to greater spiritual awareness in lighting the lamp with it. When I was growing up, and in fact many years into my adulthood, I always thought that a divine experience is available to only a few selected people. People I could identify as living in the mountains, away from the day-to-day -day challenges of life, or contemporary writers or spiritual teachers who are at a totally different level of awareness. As I found myself receiving this wisdom and I saw the changes this whole experience was bringing in me, I realized that ordinary people can be graced with this divine blessing. All we need to do is to be open to receiving it. Many of us get so caught in our daily life that our inner self is either forgotten or does not get any attention. In my case, along with performing my daily tasks as a wife, mother and teacher, I began to feel my inner connection at all times of the day. It was as if a part of me was performing and living in the external world, and yet a big part of me was feeling my inner being. As my life got enveloped in gratitude, it brought along humility and the gradual waning away of the ego. This whole experience shifted my perspective and brought in a lot of positive changes in the way I relate with people and practical situations in my life. Our inner wisdom is always there, ready to be tapped at any time. Lighting the lamp within gives my personal insights and inspirations as to how to gain access to this inner wisdom. It offers some practical techniques which are based on my personal experience and are not research based. The techniques that have become a part of my life can be assimilated in our daily routines without allocating special time or place. They offer simple ways 
to help dissolve the ego, get freedom from our emotional baggage, break out of beliefs that control us and prevent us from just being. Lighting the lamp within shows techniques that could help anyone get in touch with his divine self and find happiness in himself. I now realize that it is feasible to make this wonderful transition from ego to compassion, from fears to love, from attachments to detachments, from religious beliefs to faith in the divine, from emotional baggage to continuous pure joy, from anxiety to inner calm, from control to letting go, from religion to spirituality, from doing things to living life. Lighting the lamp within is written in very simple English and easy to understand even for a 14 year old. My objective here is to approach an average person, not just the intellectuals. Not everyone is at the level to understand the depth of spiritual knowledge, but everyone can feel the experience. We can try and explain and understand, but let's be honest, this knowledge has to be actually felt to fully experience its depth. At that point, books lose their value and one does not need to understand under anything. It seems that all questions have been answered and one doesn't need facts or proofs. Faith does bring in unconditional love and joy. I believe the universe spoke to me on how all of us can take some very basic steps to develop our soul qualities, to live a spiritual life in a very practical way, to light our spiritual lamp within ourselves. And what I have experienced in the process, I'm sharing with you in this book, Lighting the Lamp Within. This is from my soul to yours. Guys, take your time. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> Thank you.